this year. Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got back from a little 30 minute walk. We have a new subdivision being built like right up the street, it like leads into our road. And there's like a ton of like beautiful homes being built up there. They're not all done yet, but I always go walk up there and like look at the progress of them. And it's just a really good walk that's close to my house because it's like perfect 30 minutes. It's all mostly uphill, so it's like a really good workout. I'm like back is dripping sweat it's also so hot outside but i wanted to come on here because i listened to this ed Millette podcast which i have not listened to podcasts in forever i'm not really like a huge podcast person because i feel like honestly like i know some people who have to always have like sound on like music on in the background tv on in the background a podcast i'm someone who just likes silence because i feel like my mind is always running 24 seven to begin with. And so I think that silence is good for me when I'm like doing dishes or going on a walk. Like I sometimes don't even play music in the car. I'm like a weirdo about that stuff. But I wanted to listen to this podcast cause I saw that it just came out. Well, not just like a week and a half ago, but it's called How Are You Really with Jenna Kutcher. I'm 37 minutes in, I have 20 minutes left. And I am like really, really enjoying it. So I wanted to come on here and let you know if you're a podcast listener, listen to that episode if you haven't already. It's talking about just basically like, how are you really like talking about like going really into depth about how you're doing like mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, like with your body, all this like really good stuff. So I feel like I've kind of been in a rut recently, which I'm just like being honest with you guys because um i've kind of been like holding it in a little bit i've been a little bit down but like trying to keep myself busy and i think that that is a bad way to deal with it i feel like just overbooking myself with stuff um just to hide like how i'm really doing isn't like the best way to do things so um this podcast made me like really like sit and think like i need to like sit with myself and focus on my thoughts and think about how am i actually really doing and think about how i can take more rest and more time for myself because i feel like right now i'm just go 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 and i do so much for everybody else and i have such a busy schedule and then i'm traveling and i come home and i feel like especially i've put my fitness on the back burner like i haven't been to the gym in weeks minus like maybe once or twice because I get so busy and then I make excuses for myself like oh well I have this Instagram campaign due and then also a video I have to edit today so like I can't go make time for a 45 minute workout which is just like so not the case that's not how I like to be and nothing makes me better than like nothing makes me feel better than being active and productive I feel like the best way for me to clear my mind is to get a workout in or to go on a walk or to go to the beach or things like that obviously not all that is possible here in Nashville so I've been just like putting work ahead of everything, which is great if you're like trying to grind, but I feel like lately I need to put myself first before I do that. And I need to make myself like 100% happy in there so I can make like my spouse 100% happy and put him first. And like, you know, like all of that, it just kind of lines up. So that was like a really good podcast to listen to. So I specifically, like last night I went to bed and I read the description of it and I was like, I want to listen to that today. So that's exactly what I did. I'm gonna finish it. I'm drinking a little green juice. I had some left over. I did like a little Uber Eats order of some green juices yesterday. But yeah, I don't know if that made any sense. I just felt like venting it to you guys and I know that I'm not the only one that feels like that out there. I feel like it's very common to feel a burnout. And even on the podcast they were talking about, like it's so, like normalizing for this generation to like be burnt out, which is like not how it used to be. Like everyone I feel like is always in a burnout. And I myself feel like I'm like quickly approaching that if I keep up the way that I am keeping up. So I need to like reevaluate my work life balance and I need to reevaluate like what I'm doing for myself. So I don't know if that made any sense. Some of you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? But thought I would vent to you guys in case any of you guys are feeling that way because I love to keep it real over here and I love to like make like normalize my channel because I feel like it, it can get so common to just like watch youtubers I do the exact same thing I watch people and I'm like how do they have it all together how do they have their life like all put together and how do they make time for everything how do they make all that money how do they live in that beautiful house like all that stuff and I just want to like normalize that like it's not like that over here because mentally right now I'm a little bit down slash struggling and so I need to like really sit and think about that and I need to like reevaluate I think it really what it comes down to is my work life balance so I'm working on that right now um 
and I think I've just like had some things lately in my life that have like put me down and so I am just trying to like focus on what's important who's important in my life and why are they important and what do they provide for my life like I don't know I've, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting too deep into this but like I've just it's just like been on my mind lately so Anyways, I hope that that helped. I, I want to always be that channel that when people are struggling or need advice, they can sit on my channel and feel comforted that I'm just like a normal, real life human that like we can chat back and forth and whatever, you know? So I like view you guys as friends and I um, love like chatting with y'all and like reading comments and seeing you guys out in public and all that fun stuff. So I want to like be open and honest about how I'm currently feeling so that is what's up today what do we have today we have like a chill day which i'm very excited about um it is a tuesday i decided to do a little day in the life i've been loving just vlogging for fun i feel like when i pick up the camera on days where i really want to film and i don't like have to film that's the best for me um so today i didn't i don't have any type of videos do or any brands do but i was like you know what i want to go ahead and film a little day in the life so, um, wanted to make sure that I got the walk out of the way this morning. A little 35 minutes of sun and exercise was great. Um, drinking green juice. I'm going to go to the sauna today at noon. I booked an appointment. I started going to this sauna lounge on 12 South and it's so cute and it just like makes me feel so good. This will be my third time going. I'm very excited about that. Dylan and I are doing dinner with our neighbors tonight, which will be very fun. We're having taco night with our neighbors and I'm excited. We've like talked back and forth with them um, because we do share a driveway. Like we have a big like round driveway area where we all park and um, we like say hey back and forth and whatever, but like I'm excited to like get to know them. Um, the girls that live next to us, they're two girls that are roommates and they're both my age. So they're like super cute, like we get along. So I'm excited to have dinner with them. Her, one of her boyfriends in town. So him and Dylan like get along and whatever. Tomorrow we actually leave for Atlanta for the rest of the week because it's Carson's birthday weekend and we're just going home to like see family, which I think will be really good for me to just like kind of relax. I'm gonna do a, like a mini week in my life vlog with family, but it's just gonna be chill. I wanna document it for the memory. So that is what's up. I don't know what else we'll get into today. I do have house cleaners coming at 11 o'clock. It's currently 10, so I kind of need to get up and get myself out of here. I wanna maybe get my car detailed. Um, last night we had our closet like professionally organized and it was incredible, the home medic came to our house and I honestly, you guys, I, I feel like a 10 pound weight has been lifted off of my chest. Like I just feel so, so good. And ha it's like crazy what like having an organized space can do for your mental health. So that is done, I'm very excited about that. The cleaners will come today, which I'm very blessed and excited about for that as well. When we leave town to come home to a clean house will be so, so good. So I'm going to go rinse off my body and I do have to take an Instagram photo for work today, so I'm gonna get dressed in that and then bring a little change of clothes so I can go straight to the sauna after. So that is what is up today, you guys. I always forget, but if you guys are new, obviously you know my name's Rachel. If you're new here, um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I post videos all the time and I would love for you to join the little family we have, so. just so freaking good i needed that so bad i just laid in the sauna for 45 minutes dripping sweat i feel so good it's made me feel very good like a extra boost of energy every day i like to go like um morning or like right before i shower obviously you drip sweat but i had to do an instagram photo so i was like already used a makeup wipe on my face and then laid in it so i'm gonna go home and shower because i am disgusting but highly recommend trying an inference on it's so good it has so many health benefits it's good for like inflammation muscle recovery weight loss um just a ton of really good things i'm gonna get a coffee quick i just drove past the house and the cleaners are still there but sometimes i go and i just like sit in the office because i never have them do my office because we don't use that room really but i might go fill my car up with gas and then or get a coffee fill my car up with gas since we're going on a little road trip tomorrow home and then head home and maybe she'll be done. I always like 
I don't like to be in the space when they're trying to do their work because I, if I was cleaning someone's house, I wouldn't want that person all on top of me. So I try to give them their space just to be like respectful. And these ladies have been cleaning our house for a while. So I like trust them in our home. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm like on top of them when I'm trying to like work and like be there. I don't want them to feel like weird about it. So I'm giving them their space and I would like hope that someone would do that for me too. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get a coffee. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but it's my turn to order. Hi, could I please just get an iced vanilla latte with whole milk? Oh, what size would you like? Um, could I get a grande with extra ice, please? Okay, so an ice? Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. It's currently 102 degrees out in Nashville, and I'm just like... I also feel weird about it being summer and I feel like oh this is also something I wanted to talk to you guys about I feel like with it being summer especially on like social media you feel like you need to be like traveling and going and doing things and like if you're just sitting at home you're like not having a fun summer or you feel lame or you feel left out and it's like that is okay to just like be at home um this month actually wait did I travel this month I went to the last trip I went on was to Wisconsin with family but that I didn't really like consider like well yeah it was fun but like I didn't consider that like work I feel like I see all these girls like going to Europe and like doing all this fun stuff and like going on like brand trips and like I have a brand trip at the end of this month which I'm very excited about I'm actually bringing my mom which will be so fun I feel like social media does a really good job at making you feel like a loser <laughs> like that's just how it is it's like you feel like FOMO or left out or like stupid for not doing that or I feel like social media makes it very hard to just relax and chill I feel like I always need to be go 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 um but like with that being said like I feel like I want to be at the beach all summer and that just like hasn't been the case because like work's been busy we've had like things come up like I've had brand trips I've had things what made me think about that was that I am going to Florida for most of August probably like two and a half weeks of August um and I've been like, oh my gosh, I need to get to Florida. I need to get to Florida. Like I've been seeing everyone's like beach photos, all that fun stuff. And I'm just like in Nashville, but it's like Nashville's so fun. I need to like enjoy where I am now because soon I'm not going to maybe live in Nashville. I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, remember that summer in Nashville? We should have like gone out more or I should have like tried more new places or just things like that. And so I feel like social media always puts like this like liner, cookie cutter liner of like what I need to be doing for summer to like fit in with what everyone else is doing and like that's just not the case like I can you can do what you want I can do what I want and we can all still have a great summer so I just wanted to say that if you felt like that I feel like I'm having a lot of chats in this vlog but I've just been like in my head a lot lately and I'm trying to get out of it and just like realize that what I'm doing is good for me at the time and like I don't need to be comparing myself to what everybody else is doing or trying to keep up with the Joneses or like do what everyone else is doing it's like I need to stay in my lane focus on myself better myself clear my mental space and just like grind out my life before I worry about everybody else's life so that's what I've been trying to do is just really like focus on myself and like be in my own lane and I feel like I've been better at it it obviously doesn't just change overnight like you have to work on things like this which I feel like is also like a hard thing I feel like people think like oh I went to therapy once like why isn't it why am I not better like what's up it's like you have to really like work at your mental health and like your stuff every single day like it's not just going to change overnight so that's what I've been dealing with and working on so I just wanted to say that because I know social media can be a hard thing to like look at and scroll at day to day when you feel left out or feel like a loser or whatever so anyways that was my little coffee chat I got a vanilla latte like I don't know why I got that because like I wanted something with cold foam on it and then I got a latte so <laughs> please someone tell me why I got a latte when I could literally make that at home Anyways, it'll still be good. I do know that I need to drink way more of this water because I feel super dehydrated. Because that sauna, you guys, I was sweating buckets in that thing today. I think it's because I hydrated really well last night. So I was really sweating it out. So, anyways, I had to buy this really overpriced water bottle because I forgot mine at the sauna place. Comment below if you think that w different waters taste different because I do and Dylan calls me high maintenance for that. But like there are certain waters that I love like this one's really good. I think it's because it's a pH balanced water. Um, but there's certain waters where I'm like, I'm sorry, but 
I'm very thankful that I have water, but I, I can't drink that. Like, it just doesn't taste good. Whereas some waters, I'm like, oh my god, this water tastes incredible. Like, I love smart water. I love the the black and red bottle. That's what I thought this one was, but it's not. It's a different brand. I think it's called, like, Essent. It starts with an E, I think. And you guys, this is an unpopular opinion, but I really like Dasani water. And I know, like, everyone shits on Dasani water. But for some reason, I can down a bottle of Dasani water. A nice cold bottle of Dasani water, you pick that thing up, you crush it. It's just like the bottle, just everything. It's so good. All my friends make fun of me for liking Dasani water, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Absolutely loving Zach Bryan lately. His music, it's like all I've been listening to on repeat. Also, sorry, this is like bad angle, but the sun is like where I normally set my camera. It's so bright. Um, Zach Bryan is so good. And I heard from a friend this past weekend that he is performing at the Red Rocks Amphitheater in Denver in November. And I went to the Jonas Brothers concert in Denver at Red Rocks when I lived in Colorado. And it was so amazing. And I'm like, literally like, when I say I've been obsessed with Zach Bryan, it's been on repeat 24 seven in the car. Um, and like when I go on walks and stuff, today was the first day I listened to a podcast, but I've been loving Zach Bryan's music and I really want to go make a trip to Denver. I just need to like find like a friend or family member to go with because I'm not going to obviously go by myself and Dylan has to work because it's during the season. So I want to maybe see if like it's hard for Sarah to travel right now because Carson's so young, but maybe Emily will want to go with me or something or maybe I can convince Lily. <laughs> see what this is all about, you guys. This is what I used to get in college every day. Wait, it's so good. What is it about like going out and getting a coffee that just automatically makes your coffee taste better? I don't understand why. Like sometimes, like don't get me wrong, I love a good at-home coffee, but just going to get your coffee is so good. Okay, now we're gonna go to Costco and pay a million dollars for gas. Cheers. Just topped out of the shower and I like totally oiled up and lotioned my body. I wanted to share this combo I've been using. So I've been using this body oil by Tata Harper. It's so good, you guys. And then this is the um, body balm. So what I do is I just like take a little bit of each and I rub it into my um, hands and it kind of just like melts into your hands and I put it all over my body, like the whole thing. Right now I'm like so oiled up. So I just have on this robe until it dries so I don't get oil on my clothes. But it's been a game changer. I feel like I've been noticing a really big difference in my body because I've been paying more attention to like my body routine instead of just like just skincare. And this brand sent me a bunch of skincare as well, but I'm waiting to try it because I just got the Skin Farm like whole entire AM and PM cleansing set. So I'm trying that out for a few days before I like start something else because my skin has been like all over the place with like rashes and stuff. So I don't want to be mixing like a ton of products. I want to stick with one brand for a while and see like what works. Cause I was using the Rode skincare. It was, I'm pretty sure breaking me out. And so now I'm onto the skin farm and we'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed. I've heard good things about it, but I'll keep you guys updated with like the skincare journey. Anyways, nothing beats like a whole entire shower like a full like hair soaked shower also before i hopped in the shower i had a bunch of packages that i brought upstairs and i thought i would go through them i think all of this is revolve stuff that i've ordered over the past few weeks and everything came in today so i know i always do revolve hauls but it's generally where I love and get my clothes, so I thought I would share with you guys. I always have my Revolve favorites linked in my bio as well, so I'm gonna unbox this stuff and then we can go through it together. We can do like first impression, because sometimes not everything that I get from Revolve I love, but like nine times out of 10, the quality of their stuff is incredible. What's it gonna take? 20 minutes. I might not you mean, end up- You mean an hour? I might not end up even taking it because the grass needs to be attended to. The grass? So you think? Yeah, it's starting to die again in the back. Maybe it needs to be watered. What I would do is I would cut it, not that short, and then water it. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not gonna water it. So are you just gonna pack my shit? <laughs> yeah, I'll pack it in one not second. Not in a rude way, but. Yeah, I will. All right. I ordered this cute top. It's by the brand Super Now. Ooh, this is cute. And I think it was like 50 bucks, and it's a really pretty halter for summer. I'm gonna try these on for you guys. I'm gonna unbox everything, and then we can do a little 
try on. I got a small and a medium because I wasn't sure what size was going to fit, but I got these for Carson's birthday party this weekend. He's having a Toy Story themed birthday and you're supposed to like kind of like dress up as like Toy Story characters. So I was going to dress up as, um, I was either going to wear like boots and then this dress. I have to see which I like better, but I thought it would be cute to wear this like utility jumpsuit um, and then be like one of the soldiers, like one of the green army men. But I don't know if I'll be too hot. So I got this little pink dress and I thought I could be the, what is it, the one with like the sheep called? <laughs> okay. A bunch of new gold hoops, which I'll show you guys closer when I unbox them. This little shirt from Meow, I thought would be really cute with like oversized white cargos. I love this so much, it's so cute. Brand Meow from Revolve is really good. I've been in the need for good, cute, just like throw on tops for when I go out because I have so many pants. It's just like tops that I um, lack, I feel like. I didn't know that Forward carried Sporty and Rich, but it's one of my favorite activewear brands. So I got this cute sweatshirt. I love the blue, it just says Sporty and Rich, and then on the back it says drink more water. So excited about this. I got this tie-dye sweatshirt from the Attico. I think I got like one of the last ones and this was definitely a splurge, but I've seen Hailey Bieber wear this shirt or this like pattern, but in a shirt form. It's so cute. This for fall will be so, so good with like some biker shorts and some sneakers. Got another pair of these sporty and rich boxers. They're so good. I have them in blue and medium, but I got these in a large because I wanted them to fit a little bit bigger. So we'll see how those look. I wanted to show you guys these because I have them in black. They're bright by the brand The Attico, which they have such good stuff. It's kind of a pricier brand, but I have these glasses in black. It's what I've been wearing all video. They're off of Forward. They're from The Attico, like I said, but they just came out with a brown color. And I'm so excited because I wear creams and stuff a lot. So I got these, same shape but they're brown with blue lens. Wait, are the lenses see-through? Because if they are, I'm not gonna like Okay, so you can kind of see my eyes, but not like fully, but I don't know. I have to like try these on when I'm fully ready because I don't know if I will wear these as much as the black. I love the black because they're so sleek and they're like perfect for my face. I feel like I have a little bit smaller of a face. Um, so like huge sunglasses, I feel like don't really look that good on me. So this was like the perfect shape, but I wish that the lenses weren't blue. But I'll link this pair and I'll link the black pair for you guys in the description because they're like my most worn sunglass right now and I feel like a lot of you guys are asking where they're from. So I will link, they're from the Attico off of Forward. First few things, this is the Sporting Rich in the XL. I have every other sweatshirt of theirs in a large, but XL I feel like is just so much cozier. And then these are a large um, boxer short, which I love honestly for summer. You're like such a big sweatshirt girl. I love crewnecks. I don't really love hoodies, but crewnecks in the summer I still love. So I love finding like little light shorts like this. And then in the mornings, like for coffee and stuff, I'll run in this little outfit. It's just like cute. It looks put together, but it's still super comfy. This sweatshirt is so freaking cute. I love the brown and green together and I love the heart on the front. I'm not normally someone who loves like graphics and prints and stuff. I normally wear like plain clothes. But this I feel like is very fun. I would not wear it with these shorts. I would wear this with like, honestly, some joggers, some loose cargo pants, jeans, oversized denim for fall. This will be so good. This top is literally so cute. I'm covering up because I need to put a bra underneath this, like a little bralette. But I would wear it with these pants from Local European. But this is so, so cute. And the quality is really, really nice of all their pieces. I'm wearing a size small. And I feel like this will be so cute at the beach, on a trip. Or just like for a little night out with drinks. This is really cute. This top is so good. I love the colors and print of this. I feel like I'm always such a basic solids. Love a good little halter for summer. So this is so good. I'm wearing a small and I think it's like $54 on Revolve right now. So I'll link everything I just tried on for you guys, but how cute. Here's the utility jumpsuit. I'm wearing the size medium right now. I also got the small, but I think I love it like oversized and big. And I think this could be so cute because I feel like it's different. <laughs> I think this would be cute for the party. So I might, I'm going to bring this. I'll probably bring the dress too if it fits. I'm going to try that on next. But I definitely would take this in a medium so it's baggier fit. But this is really cute for fall too. Like even if I don't wear this for the party, I might keep it. It's by the brand Pistole. 
denim and I have a few pairs of their jeans and I love the quality of their stuff and their stuff is like really nice thick quality but it also has like this like softness to it like it's been washed a few times and it's just very comfy light like denim clothing so I really love this I think it's cute and I think it'd be cute for fall too with some sneakers lastly really quick I got these two pair of hoops because I lost some of mine in Wisconsin chains for my second hole and then I got some new thick gold hoops and you guys these I think were under 100 bucks and they look like the Jennifer Fisher ones so I will link these again all this stuff for you guys so that's my little revolve haul tonight is taco night and i quickly wanted to thank hellofresh for sponsoring today's video you guys know that dylan and i are absolutely obsessed with hellofresh they deliver fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week so you can savor summer flavors right from your home i also love how much time money and stress i save i feel like i'm always in and out of the house in and out of Tennessee, so it's kind of sometimes hard to get fresh, good for you dinners on the table. Also love that HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant or grocery shopping these days, which is amazing and it comes straight to the door so there's literally nothing better also you guys can see here hellofresh includes the pre-portioned ingredients which means less prep for you and less wasted food and they are the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable which is incredible to me so dylan and i have never had a meal that we have been disappointed in so if you have not tried out HelloFresh, you have got to try it out, especially right now. They have so, so many good recipes and meals. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code RACKY16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Again, that is HelloFresh.com. Use my code RACKY16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up. It's the next morning. Um, made myself a little green, like powder thing. I've been taking the Bloom Super Greens, the mango flavor, and they're actually really good. I never, I feel like, can get greens like this down. Recently, I've been taking these, and it's mango flavored, so it doesn't taste like that green chalky, like green powdery thing that I cannot stand. So this one's like actually has like a sweet fruity flavor. So been drinking this it helps with bloating um not sponsored i've been working with them on tiktok but yeah it helps with bloating and especially in the summer nothing is worse than feeling bloated and lately that's how i've been feeling so i'm taking i'm having one of those this morning and then i also made a little coffee dylan and i are about to leave he's in the shower i've been up like since 6 a.m i don't know why i couldn't sleep in and it's currently like 7 30 now um, we're gonna get on the road and head to Georgia, but made a little coffee. I have my bags packed upstairs. I need to go get them Just kind of like picking up the house and stuff. I love coming home to a clean house after we travel So I just wanted to make sure everything's like good to go and stuff like that But last night I didn't really finish off vlogging because we went over to our neighbors right there for dinner and it was so fun getting to like we've like met a few times but getting to like actually like talk and chat and like discuss life it was fun so um, we were up kind of late and then yeah now I'm awake so good morning you guys I think I might finish this vlog out today but we'll see I'm gonna do a home vlog so I don't know when I'll end this one but it's literally eight o'clock Dylan it's literally eight o'clock you said you were up in 20. I did and then you said it's only seven minutes So get up. I thought you were in the shower. <laughs> I'm done with work. Mm. So let me go. I just have my little duffel for the weekend because I really don't need to bring that many things. So I have all of my like skincare and hair stuff in here. Brought my makeup in here you guys these are the best bags i know i talk about them all the time they're literally insane and then this is my like tote bag that i literally bring with me everywhere because i feel like i'm always having something to edit or something to work on for work so this is what i use for all my electronics i feel like i've shown you guys this several times i'm gonna bring my tripod for carson's birthday so maybe we can get some like 
cute birthday montage laptop and then this bag I just put like hair ties chapstick like random things that sometimes I need I'm gonna put these shoes on little car ride outfit I'm wearing this Lululemon cropped tee it's like in this cream color I'm obsessed with it and then these Nike joggers that I got off of Revolve they're really cute and just like tan and then I'm gonna wear these new balances that are off of forward but I'll link the colorway because I don't I don't remember what these are called but I've been doing so good you guys at keeping up with my closet it's been a few days since the home edit has been to our closet if you guys saw the last vlog and I've been like a neat freak about putting everything away and I'm like obsessed that I just come in here and I stare at all my stuff and now I feel like re-inspired and like happy again to like put together outfits. I feel like I was like in a little bit of a rut for a little bit because my closet was such a mess. 